Hello guys, welcome back to another Civic video. And uh, today I'm gonna go over what I've done since I had the engine out, cause uh, a lot of video hasn't been done that should have been done. But anyway, let's uh, show you exactly where it is. So here we are, engine bay has been uh, somewhat cleaned up. This was all rust, if you remember, this was all in primer last time, and this has all been cleaned, de-rusted. Painted up in black, so that's all nice and tidy. I've got this side to do still, you can see where the rust was all just sort of coming. It was all the same on the other side. Rust was all coming. And it all looks like black and shiny on this side. So I'll do the same on that side. I also have to, oh God, look at the state of this. This is where the, uh, so this is the steering rack here and the mounts on this side which are just dirt traps and you see this here is the uh, wheel arch <laughs> just the all the mud and wet and anything that gets thrown up by the wheel just ends up down in here and these mounts have just rusted away it's the same on both sides it's starting to come down onto the chassis legs so that really needs cleaning up and sorting out. You see down here, this is the brake pipes. It's the same, all the way in there. Wire and harnesses, brakes, all in the way. I've just got to take out, I've certainly got to do this here. This is pretty nasty and we'll end up with holes. It's the same, both sides, look. There, I've got them covered in there. You can see, look, I mean, look at the crud. Just absolute crud that just builds up. Um, obviously there was a strengthening bar across there and that was rusty as anything as well. That is now sitting here, it's been cleaned up and painted and is pretty much ready to go back on, de-rusted. So that's looking pretty darn good. I've got the engine sat next to the car because it's the only space I've got for it at the moment. Uh, at the T-bar that was all cleaned up, all rust off, painted. And here we have the gearbox. This, I'll put a picture up of in here, the clutch, the bell housing. Oh God, it was awful. Absolutely covered in the usual black rubbish and a whole lot of fibers off the clutch just covered. I've cleaned this up. This is all ready to go back together. I've got the new uh, clutch ready for when it all goes back. I've cleaned up around here. I'm going to get a couple of seals just to replace these while they're off. I'm not sure whether they're leaking, but uh, it's probably worth changing them while everything's off. You can see the dirt on here. This is this is the dirty side that I haven't cleaned. I've got to pop it round and I've got to clean all this up. So that's gearbox ready. Yeah, so that's today's job, is get that steering rack out. Yeah, well, uh, let's get on. <laughs> It was at this point I realised I had to undo a bolt in the cabin, which meant all of the crap alongside the car had to be moved, including the engine and the engine crane. So into the cabin we go. And it's this bolt right underneath here. That's it. The yellow one just there. And with that loose, the steering rack comes off rather easily. And with the steering rack off, now I can get on with taking off some rather rusted up bolts. I've 
just got that first mount off. We sat just there, but look at the crud and crap back here. Oh man. One snapped off bolt needs taken out. That's going to be fun. But look at the state of this, man. Ah, all this needs cleaned up. This needs sorting out, get rid of the rust. So that's one side. One more to go. Alright, so here are the two offending articles which are rusty. Let's go and focus up. There we go. These things are just so rusty. You can see the rust just falling off them. That's just because where they're at on the car, you know, they're right up next to the wheels. All the crap and crud off the road ends up chucked off on them. So they need a good clean up, I think. I might even put an epoxy primer on them before I give them a coat of black because uh, they get so covered, they need a really good protection. Just not enough on there from, yeah, not enough on there from, uh, from the factory. So we've seen this one, I've got this to pop out here. Blah. That's the broken nut that I did. This was all holding on the uh, the bar that goes across the strengthening bar. And you can see the rust. I mean, I am not. don't think it's quite as bad as I thought it was, actually. It's only the rust up at this edge that needs a good clean. There's a little bit creeping in here, which is what I thought was bad. I mean, this is, looks bad, but most of this has come off that... Um, mountain bracket so it's the same don't fall over James so it's the same on this side maybe a little worse looking on this side I mean the rust starting to creep down the chassis leg here but it's not bad it's certainly strong it's only surface stuff no broken bolts on this side so that's a bonus we'll give it all a good clean and see what it looks like once I'm done side it's not looking as bad as I thought it was going to it's all clean clean and clean and clean and then this side which is as bad as I thought it was going to be which isn't particularly bad you know it's not going through there's no holes or anything but there's definitely rust and it needs a uh, needs a good clean up so that's that job ready to do so lots and lots of uh, rust cleaning to do got it all the way around there and then a bit under here as well and then a bit of the front so that's that's next time's job so if you've liked this video of me messing about with rust and steering racks press the like button down below and maybe leave a comment and if you really want to keep up with what's going on with the civic uh, press the subscribe button that'll help it'll help with youtube as well anyway Bye for now.